Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. I have a potential customer who wanted me to build something uh, fairly simple. I threw it together on one of my uh, Engineering Shock prototype boards. Uh, I basically made this board about a year ago so that I could easily prototype up some like, like, easy little uh, doodads. Anyhow, <coughs> what the idea is, is this is for a domination paintball game. So, I, each team... Uh, has a tower or a space where uh, they guard and kind of like capture the flag. At least is how this is how I'm imagining it. If the enemy infiltrates the uh, the tower and holds down a button for 30 seconds, the game is over. Uh, in the case where the cust of the customer, the customer has a light and the tower lights up. Um, if the button is successfully held for 30 seconds. Now, if someone gets hit during that 30 seconds where they're holding down the button, they obviously let go of the button and the system resets. So what happens here is there's a button here. A larger button can be put in parallel, so it doesn't have to be used. This button doesn't have to be used, but uh, you press the button, the red LED lights up. If you... Uh, if you let go, the LED turns off. But as soon as you hold, start holding that LED, or holding that button, and the LED turns on, a 30 second timer starts elapsing. And so after 30 seconds, both the relay and the green LED will turn on, and they will stay on until you let go of the button, and then press it again. And in this case, I've actually got 12 volts wired into a, an LED bank, and uh, the negative to a relay which connects uh, to ground internally. So when the relay's on, the light bank's on at 12 volts. So let me get out my timer and we'll time this. Okay, here's my timer. So watch the red LED, the green LED, and of course the LED bank will light up. Uh, if I just press and hold the button, powered it on at 12 volts, if I press the button and then I let go, I've been shot, the LED turns off. <coughs> now if I press and hold the button, we'll uh, turn the timer on at the same time. Let's do it. I didn't have it perfectly in sync there, but I've got it uh, not fine-tuned, but fairly tuned to almost exactly 30 seconds. The difference is very forgivable, as you will see. Um, now, if as soon as the relay turns on, I let go of the button, I have to press it again uh, for the relay to turn off. If I continue to hold it after the relay turns on, I have to let go and then press the button again. So no matter what, you have to let go of the button before you can press it again. There you go. <clears throat> so you, you might have noticed, I forgot to mention this, is the LED bank, I'm going to turn it off by pressing it again. The uh, red LED stays on for a couple seconds after the relay turns on. And as long as that red LED is on, uh, is, is, uh, basically, it's basically saying, as long as that red LED is on, you cannot turn off the LED bank until, uh, until the red LED turns off. So again, relay turns on green LED turns on, a couple seconds after the red LED turns off, at which point you can turn off the relay. Now this is so that someone can't cheat uh, or screw up. So as soon as, let's just do it one more time, just so that you can uh, see, I know I'm rambling a little bit and I apologize for that. <coughs> Very simple circuit. Um, when the red LED, or when the LED bank turns on, I'm going to cover it up and I want you to watch that red LED. Even if I let go as soon as the relay turns on and the LED bank turns on, that red LED will stay on for a short period of time afterwards. And that's basically, it's basically just a fail-safe, meaning that no matter what, that light will be on for uh, a short period of time, no matter what. So now, after that LED turns off, I can... Leave the LED, leave the uh, LED bank on, or I can turn it off and reset the system. So it's a very simple circuit. Uh, the microcontroller is a bit overkill. I find that this specific microcontroller, the PIC 18F, uh, is a lot more versatile, obviously, than say a PIC 10. But a PIC 10 could do the job uh, relatively easily. It would just mean for a bunch more uh, code because it doesn't have the same instruction set and it's not nearly as versatile. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching guys. I just figured I'd not only uh, make this video for the potential customer, but uh, make it just so I could show it off just for fun. So thanks a lot guys. Uh, I'm not going to be making a ton of videos over the next few weeks, so if I don't talk to you, uh, happy holidays and thanks again for paying attention to my videos. Take care.